like not moving, like not breathing that much. And I was like, holy fuck, is the baby dead or something? And she's like, my husband like left me and the baby like pooped all over the place and I have like no clothing and I really need to get him. He, he went to the drugstore and he never came back and I just need to reach him. I have no money. Can you give me money? Stuff like that. And okay. I was like, holy, what, like, what, what is going on here? And I was like, uh, well, I don't have like, I didn't have like money. I have only like a uh, card and, you know, like online money basically yeah and i was like uh what do you need like she's like i need diapers and i like okay like i will transfer your stuff it's not that much i will think what a moron i am <laughs> basically and then i i'm trying to you know transfer stuff and i look at the baby and it looks dead and i'm like and i'm asking her like is the baby okay is like the child okay and she's like she's very gets very angry and she's like yes it's fine he's fine and she's like screaming at me basically mm -hmm. and i was like okay lady like uh, i don't like know what to do with it and i just walked like away basically and two minutes away from this place and i get a phone call and it's from an unknown number yeah the one she and had. it's the one she called mm -hmm. and the one she called yeah and i picking up the phone and the man is like um pick, pick, picks up the phone like and i was like oh is that you your wife is like standing in this place she's like searching for you where are you she says you went to the drugstore and you like disappeared and he literally says the baby is dead don't call me it was dead Oh, okay. And, and That's like, like the start of a horror movie, but okay. The, what in the actual? F and I was like, like, and he's like, D don't call me, Tipa. Call the police. He said, call the police. And I was like, what? And I am like returning to that place basically, and there's no women. Not no, no that, that woman is no longer there. With okay. The and I, and I call him like my policeman friend, uh, Denise. His name is. In that in Poltava, and I was like, "Dude, this happened," and he was like, well, "You can call the you can call the like I give you the number who to call, but they won't do anything." And I'm like, "Why?" And he was like, "That's Romanian. Nobody gives a shit." And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. So this is like the baby story, basically. I'm like not hundred percent sure it's it was. It kind of looked dead, <laughs> but then when he sell, said he's dead, I think it is. So yeah. So I did call the police still despite what he told me and i described the situation at first they were interested but the minute i told them it was romani people they were like ah f it. so yeah. okay well sorry jesus all right yeah that's the craziest one i had honestly nobody did anything to me so nobody like robbed me or scammed me or some shit. Mm -hmm. but you know it was weird let's put it like that oh well, yeah this one's pretty weird i think yeah yeah yep and it was also while this was happening, there was like sirens blasting. It was an air raid at the same time, and I was like, "Oh." Oh, so this was really this mind. was recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. In Poltava, when I it was in in um in April, mm -hmm. I think, or maybe in May, something like that. Um, yeah. So that's is the story I will leave you with, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well. Cradles. Thanks for I like that the husband was like, don't call me, but call the police. The baby is dead. <laughs> Jesus. Like, yeah. um, so he, he kind of like, I assume, f***ed off. So he like told her he was going to the drag store, but he actually like, ran away. Mm -hmm. So whatever the fuck, I don't know. Maybe he assumed if he will call, they will like arrest him and stuff. Who the f*** knows, I don't know. The mm -hmm. story is weird. Yeah, well, anyhow. See you guys. Yeah. I'm going to go try and fall asleep. <laughs>